business inside now. What the what do you think is some of the habits or things that you're doing to get the the results you're getting? What 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 advice would you give, I guess? So you have to stay consistent and you know it's so funny because we're getting ready to move and I it's just I know exactly where you guys are at because I saw my notes like a list that I was cold calling myself and it was like such a small list and I think it was like so innocent of me like naive almost like I'm gonna get a deal on this list I pulled a pre foreclosure like I'm totally gonna get a deal there's like 30 people on here one of them is gonna be a deal right but I think a lot of people just have no idea the sheer mass amount of data you're gonna have to go through in order to get deals. And so it's truly, truly, truly a numbers game. Keep track of your KPIs from the get go. It's super difficult. It's super tough to stay dedicated to that, especially for me. Like, you know, like when if you have like a sales type personality, data is not your friend. <laughs> and so I suck at that. I really, really do. I'm really good at talking to people. I love talking to people. If you look at my records, they're a hot mess. I have terrible notes. Chris is always on me. He's hot. He's on a desk post. I get in my notes like, what is this? <laughs> okay, sorry. Let me go back and fix that for you. But you'll encounter that a lot. Even if you're not that personality type, the people that you're going to hire eventually are going to be that personality type. So you get used to it. But um, so do your data and consistency and just buckle up for the data that you're going to go through, the amount of people that you're going to talk to. And if you cannot, make the time to be making the dials every single day, like on a dialer, like you need to get a dialer, invest in a dialer, upload your data onto a dialer, use the dialer. And if you're not able to do that for like four hours a day, you've got to hire somebody else to do it for you for four hours a day. And if you're going to get burnt out doing it and not stick to it, hire somebody else to do it four to $5 an hour for your future. Like it's nothing and it'll get you losing your system. So many people give up and don't get going. And I really, really think that if they would just have done what we did, that was like the best thing that we did in the beginning was hiring a VA for four hours a day to just go through the leads and get leads into our system. That is huge. That's a big gold nugget right there. Is 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 doing getting the marketing done in spite of yourself. Yep. In spite of yourself. Now you've been really good about recruiting some really awesome, talented people and training, I know you spend a lot of time training people and helping them, you know, understand your process and stuff. Where are you finding such cheap and good cold callers? So I hire my own and I would recommend you not, at least for the first month, like hire somebody through an agency um, because it just, then you kind of know what you're looking for. Like if you're trying to train your own person, the very first time you have a cold call, it's gonna be difficult. You're gonna get kind of caught up, I think. But listening to my cold callers, like auditing their calls, I knew what I wanted. And then I lost, like through the agency, I couldn't coach them and I couldn't reward them in the way that I wanted to. So I just fired the agency and I hired out of El Salvador. There's a Facebook group called Work From Home El Salvador. I love the culture there. I love the people there. My team are, they're so loyal for my birthday the cutest thing ever. They made me a whole birthday video where they each got on and made a video and told me happy birthday. And they, they call me the boss lady. Like they absolutely love me. I love them. I would like, they have, they have days off, paid days off after they've been with us for three months. I send them all headsets that are noise canceling because it's hard for them to get them there. Um, they, I just, I, I love our, our cold call team. I really, really do. And one of them, he started with me. He was my first cold caller down there. And he, he's now my call specialist and was my closer for a while. And actually he closed a deal today and a deal yesterday. So he's wow. still closing because I'm busy today. They just weren't like as deep as I would want. And if Chris were home and he were going to be discoing them, I'd be in trouble. <laughs> but I'm going to disco them and just, you know, knock them out. I think one's going to be like eight grand and the other 10 grand. And those are just like going to kind of lower our KPIs a little bit. But, uh, but that's, um, 18, that's $18,000 and you never yeah. talk to the seller. Yep, exactly. No, I haven't. I've not talked to either one of them. So, and he, I even had him because I wasn't home today. I had to take my son to the doctor. I had him call the deal that he locked up yesterday, today, to schedule pictures and walkthrough. So I, there's going to be pictures and walkthrough and I haven't even talked to him. So, um, so, so yeah, but he's trying, I mean, Alex, I have been training him. We do daily huddles. We go through, we 
role play, you have to get so comfortable role playing. And just so everybody knows, I was not comfortable on the phone. Like I had never done sales in my life before this. I did not, I was like, oh my gosh, there's no way I could, my husband's a natural born salesperson. And I would listen to him on the phone. I'm like, well, I could never say that. I could never do that. And now I do it all day. So you get, you get a lot more comfortable with it and you just cannot have the, the personality type where you get stuck learning and not actually putting it into action. Like just get on the phone, follow up with leads, just talk to people, use a script and memorize the script to the point that you're not reading it and it doesn't sound scripted. And you're gonna be just fine. I love Eric Klein. He is a good one to follow too for his, his energy and like the way he talks to sellers. I love that. So, um, but yeah, just always be learning, always be listening, getting on calls like this, being around this because in your day to day life, nobody else is doing this stuff. Right. And especially if your significant other is not, you've got to stay connected. You have to stay motivated and learning and just in the environment for sure. Thank you.